Catholic Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I am Mike. Dan, what are we drinking and who did it come from? Mike, this beer, I am 99.9999999999% sure. That's enough for It me. comes from Kenny P. Oh, Kenny P. Kenny P sent us off a wonderful package of he did. hop butcher Generous for he is. the world. Uh, this beer is called Secret Snacks. And this is Most Mosaic beer we've ever had. CTZ Chinook and Nectaron Hopped that Double is. India Pale Ale coming to 8% ABV. And it was canned on 4-17-2024. So we're at the time of filming. We're month, just yeah. over a month. Uh, it says pass it around. Uh, okay. Secret snacks. I like. There's a vault with like some snacks, and he's got. And that's really. Uh, Why is that pertinent, Dan? It's pertinent because around my house, there may be some secret snacks. You there know. are drawers, catacombs, bro, hidden areas left in. Bro, what? Not. It's clear that yeah. Um, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they put all the secret snacks into one cabinet. It smells like a bag of weed yeah. right off the bat. Uh, but yeah, listen, when you got hashtag toddler life running around the house, you gotta you gotta hide snacks. And then he says, even though he was doing this long before there were any children in his household. Whoa, that does smell like weed. Holy, right? Whew. I feel like somebody just like sparked up a bomb. God, or it smells fantastic! Uh, wow, I was again not expecting it to be as clear as it is. Got it, like and a nice chill haze on it. Proper glassware. Hashtag proper glassware. Hashtag proper shirtware. Oh wait, um, now you got to do it again. Now to focus. See, don't worry, I'll zoom in. Outstanding. Uh, yeah, neither one of us was expecting this to be clear, but it's it's pretty clear. Oh my gosh, that is so <laughs> freaking... That is... I'm calling a tasting note right now, Pleasant Dank. Uh, if that's wait, not... Wait, a, without, without looking at the tasting notes, uh -huh. I just wanted to oh, say that? that this is a collaboration with uh, the Crafted 1979 Bottle Shop and Tapper. Oh, okay, that's cool. So, I don't... We didn't look them up, but... Um, wow. That is the most dankest of Pleasant Why do you think... I've now it's starting smelled. to make sense why they call this Secret Snacks. Yeah... You know, it's not what you were saying. Like, it's not. Oh, I really wish I got a hanker in. I wish there was a Reese's peanut butter cup. And then, oh, surprise! Somebody pulls out one and says, oh, "I've been oh, hiding look it." Look at that. And, Dan's got know. the meatloaf flavored Oreos. That you this is like a this is like store. Scooby Snacks kind of secret snacks. We know what Shaggy's been doing. That is the only aroma. It's just. I mean, I'm I'm a dig yeah. more into it, but it's a very bright. Fresh, grassy. It is so. Herbal. It is so pungent and dank. Like, ooh, oily. It smells like oh, hot, like hop weed oil. Like dabs. Yeah. Okay. All right. So once you get past is that, it's like right up Harry Goosenuts alley, right? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh my gosh! All right. So yeah, get get past it because it's like. Whew. There is a nice tropical kind of undertone of um, almost think of like a orange and lemon Jolly Rancher mixed together. I think. Yeah, there is. But a, you really nice you can't orange. get pit past that like floral, just, yeah, oily, I was just, gonna say that. just super it's dank. All right, oh let's, my let's, gosh. Let's, yeah, let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Kenny. Mmm. Dude. Oh, that's delicious. I just got grape. I got, like, apricot. Mmm. No, like, grape owl blunt wrap. Like, oh, yeah, of course. No, I'm serious. Like, I, 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 I got, like, a sweet tart Pez kind of grape thing. And I, I could see the apricot, too, but... um. It, there's candied tropical in there, but it's not overly sweet. Um, there's some peach, uh, mm. some real nice 
uh, orange citrus, a little bit of pineapple. Um, I, I like that ever, all the flavors coming out are balancing so well with the aroma because the aroma is so dank and floral and, mm. and viscous, you know, but the flavors are all the fruit notes that you're like kind of digging for in there. I think this is so balanced. <laughs> I think that that floral note, um, it provides a, uh, a really, I would say, moderate bittering aspect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, my goodness. This is really good. It is. Uh, so body, I mean, 8%. 8%, <clears throat> is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. So this is, it, it's a crisp. It's a crisp kind yeah. of airy. Mm -hmm. um, I think it drinks much more like a six and a half. Yeah. Like. It, it's thin. It's thin. Mm -hmm. But I can see what they're going for. This is almost like an Imperial. It comes off as like an Imperial, like a cold IPA. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, this okay you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like everywhere brewing over in California. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, or like the, the North Parks. Wow. This is nice. That. So with the apricot you're getting, mm -hmm. has it evolved at all? For you, because for me, like, it, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say that that grape I was getting now has mm -hmm. evolved into almost like now I'm getting the sweetness almost to like a, a a cotton candy. So if like if you went to a marijuana dispensary, mm -hmm. I, I'm sure they sell this like they have marijuana to. cotton candy. Yeah, they have to like flavored with like uh, like a. Like a a tropical, not even tropical, this isn't tropical, but like a, some sort of fruited marijuana cotton candy. Okay. Um, I, I, I agree with you. Like as it's, as it's opening up more, uh, it's getting a little more sweet. But again, I think some of the leafy green floral notes mm. are also evolving and it's continuing to just stay nicely balanced for me at least that bittering is coming out a little more so it's keeping the sweetness at bay i think it's not juicy but it is juicy it's not super bitter but it is a little bitter like it's a delicious beer this is delicious let's uh check a taste Man, let's see what we got lush citrus mm -hmm. fresh berry yeah sure wafting greens really wafting greens is that the new Pleasant Dank? <laughs> I don't know, but it was a walk. Yes, it, it, it was green. Was, it was. They're, they're not wrong. Uh, wow. That was a good one. Uh, what do you give it? I really enjoy this. I love the drinkability factor. Mm -hmm. Very drinkable. <clears throat> it's sippable. Uh, this cures the itch of like those West Coast beers, though. It really does. Because mm. how many times I'm like, man, I wish we could get like some North Park or everywhere like just that super dank super hopped just west coast style. yeah yeah um mm, i'll go four four. Oh man i'm right i was gonna give it a four four as well this is delicious i really like this 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 might be one of my favorite hop butchers we've had in at least recent memory yeah i'm glad this beer lived up for the name for you yeah uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just sorry. Oh, God. Uh, Hot Butcher, by the way, they're out of Chicago. I don't even think I said that. Yeah, it's fine. Um, they know where they're from. Uh, <laughs> people don't. Oh, yeah, we're filming this. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh, hey hello. So, yeah. Hi, you're on TV. <laughs> um, thank you, Kenny. I'm so glad we got to try this. This was fantastic. It's good beer. What else is fantastic is we've got Link Trees. Yeah, got some good stuff down there, and we have more hot butcher. Kenny sent us a, a load of hot butcher. So, all right, uh, bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.